Hello and welcome back to the Hourglass. So today's edition is what's going on with your Divine Masculine. <clears throat> Alright, so keep in mind not all uh, messages are going to resonate. So take what does and trash what doesn't. Many other um, videos on my playlist that you could go and check out. So let's go on and see what's going on. Um, let's try something different today. Let's go with something else, a different type of deck. Right. What's going on with the collective divine masculine that we're about to pick up today? Let it be great. Let it be great. Let it be great, let it be great, let it be great. I hope each and every one of you are doing great and you enjoy or you're enjoying your holidays. A lengthy weekend today, uh, this week, this weekend, sorry. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's going on with the collective of Divine Masculine. I love it. What's going on with the collective of Divine Masculine? So we have magic. Wow. Okay. All right. And we have bold and courageous. I read that reverse, but you get it. Bottom of the deck, love. Wow. All right, so this is very, this is a very positive, we're starting to read off very positive. All right, so what I'm seeing here, what's going on with your divine masculine is they're very much in the love uh, energy, all right? Whether it's a love for themselves or a love for those around them, they're definitely embrace, embracing love, not fair right now, all right? I do feel for some of you that this has a lot to do with the divine feminine, you know, really embracing this unconditional love that you guys share, all right? Trying to unblock any type of negative or negativity is what I feel like your divine masculine is working on at this time. I feel like they're starting to see the magic in life as well. Trying to trust their intuition more when it comes to actually making these bold moves, all right? Again, unblocking any type of negativity or fears, all right? Willing to take a risk, all right? Ready to speak the truth as well. Let's see what it's all about. Let's go deeper in with my own um, personal deck. All right, so we still have some unprocessed emotional trauma that's still lingering. I do feel they're um, breaking out of that, unblocking themselves out of that, all right? Starting to believe in the magic within themselves. Beautiful. Speaking their truth. All right. So this is how they're unblocking that unprocessed emotional trauma, all right? By speaking up, despite of their fears. All right, so that wanted to peek through. All right, so it says, I don't see the light, unaware or pessimistic. All right, so this may be past uh, energy. All right, so this is what's happening. So we have blessed union. So this is, this is, this does has a lot to do with the divine masculine and his divine, his or her divine feminine. All right, they are recognizing the magic within this union, but they're still kind of like living detached. So it says, living my life detached. So very unbothered right now, even though the union is very much on their mind. They're still learning lessons, you guys, but they still want that second chance, all right? So they're very much um, possibly ready for the next level, wanting to be brave and courageous um, by coming forward despite of their, their fears here, ready to speak their truth about possibly what they know about the union, but they still are very in denial um, with how this is going to progress. Right now, they're living their life. This could be a mask as well, that they're um, behaving like they're unbothered. But, you know, they're just trying to be at peace in their own way, if you will. Narcissistic traits, warning. All right, so 
this divine masculine whether it's male or female could have some um lessons to learn about nurse having narcissistic behavior I do feel like they are very much very much aware that they are broken, they are empty, they could be feeling or perceiving themselves as very boring or, or meaningless. And at times, you know, this could be a mask like what I'm saying. They could be wearing a mask, living life, um, behaving like they're unbothered, but it's really masking their arrogance, all right? This over self-confidence may be fake as well. And it's like warning, you know, don't try to get, don't try to be a teacher or try to school a person, a human being that's in this narcissistic energy, all right? It's just, it would turn out to be your worst mistake and your biggest lessons, all right? So, you know, this um, divine masculine is very much pessimistic. There is, they could be a dark creature is what I'm getting, all right? And when I say a dark creature, it's like, they're vibrating from this lower chakra, all right? Even though they're seeing the magic, they're seeing the miracles in this blessed union, um, they still have a lot of narcissistic traits that they're battling with. So yeah, they might love you and all of that, but they're still kind of very manipulative as well. All right, so that may be a huge red flag for some of you, you know, um, when this uh, divine masculine doesn't get what they want they I'm what I'm picking up is they seem to have you seem to see their their true colors when they don't get what they want all right and they could be learning that about themselves as well you know feeling like this is a lost cause even though they know it's a very blessed union and there's love here you make them feel bold there's a certain element of magic as well but it's like you know maybe they're recognizing you know they're starting to have <clears throat> they start they're, they're, they're starting to be really aware of the effects of their behavior may have had on this union all right but they do have unconditional love for their divine feminine all right so they may be on let me see they may be Huh. They may be on like a second stage in self-mastery, all right? Really, um, even though they have this attitude of nonchalant or, you know, unbothered, I do feel like they have become aware of their behavior, the effects that their behavior may have had on such a blessed union, all right? So let's dive in some more. Let's get some more energy, some more feelings, beloved. How is this divine masculine feeling? Yeah, bored. They're very bored with their, their life right now. You know, they, they seem to be waiting for change as well. And nothing is changing. But they do feel an energy of being um, bold. Yeah, they're excited about this union as well. You see, that's the thing. They're bored with their life, but, you know, maybe the only thing that spices their life up is this union. Ashamed. Yeah. Like what I was feeling, I feel like this divine masculine that I'm channeling, I'm picking up today, they're very ashamed of their um, behavior. But they are um, right now um, projecting this detached energy. And that's because that's how they deal with unprocessed emotional trauma. They become very arrogant and, um, prideful. All right. And it's something that they're dealing with. They're very humiliated. And this is why they feel very unworthy of this love. Very disappointed. Uh-huh. I feel for many of these divine masculine, they're very much disappointed in themselves, in their behavior, in the things that they have chosen over this blessed union. Let's get some tarot. Yeah, they feel like you might have been the one that got away if you're no longer in contact with this person or you have put in place some very healthy personal boundaries against this divine masculine. I mean, they're excited, you know. I feel like they're grateful. This union um, is full of magic. They know it. They sense it. Um, and it gives them a certain ego boost as well, if you may. Beloved, let's get some more info here. Tell us about who this character is. So we have the Ace of Pentacles wanting to pop out. So, yeah, I feel like 
um, they're ready to leave wherever they at. They're ready to usher in a new cycle within their life, a new adventure. But they're still holding on to the past or the past their their past selves. Now, keep in mind, you guys. This uh, reading could also resonate with the divine masculinity within yourself that's disconnected from the divine feminine within yourself. Remember, the twin flame journey is a mirroring. It's a reflection of your spiritual ascension. All right? So if you're not in unity with those two aspects within yourself, it's going to be very difficult. And um, you're just going to repeat a lot of karmic cycles when it comes to... Um, that energy that's outside of yourself, all right? So to keep that in mind, it's not all about getting in union with your divine masculine and spying on his every move with the karmic situations, all right? I'm doing this readings to help us as well move forward on our journey. So it's like we're tapping in, in in this divine masculine's energy so it could help us to move forward in our own um, divine masculinity, all right? So they know... Um, I feel like th this divine masculine knows the ball is in their court, but they just don't see a way of doing this. I feel like they're definitely waiting on a change for this new beginning to, to just hop right into their lap. I feel like they have been doing some type of law of attraction by constantly visualizing it, you know, but not making a move. So they have one part of the equation all figured out, but you still have to put in that action, Mr. Divine Masculine. And to put in that action, you have to really um, separate yourself from this shameful energy, from a uh, wearing mask of nonchalant or unbotheredness, this arrogance. You have to detach yourself from these emotions and really get with your authentic selves, all right? To gain that courage, that boldness, you have to really see the magic within yourself. All right? So we have the Knight of Swords wanting to come in very swiftly, very headstrong with words. You know, some of these divine masculines could be feeling very argumentative. All right? Or they are very much um, impatient. So this could cause them to, you know, feel in this way. This push and pull because it's like one minute they feel excited, they feel encouraged to make a bold move to speak their truth, but then they digress because of you know their narcissistic programming, and they become very pessimistic and feeling like empty and like nothing worthless, and then they start this karmic pattern of wearing a mask of arrogance and pride, and it starts all over again because when you're wearing a mask, you're not attracting what's divinely guided for you you're not attracting your birthright your freedom your peace of mind so you're going to attract more karmic situations so it's just like an endless cycle of pain five of cups there you go with the sadness all right i do feel like they may want they may do some things had to provoke a reaction but I'm feeling like this Divine Masculine is not really Ace of Swords. Okay, so this Divine Masculine could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, could have some water, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, or it could be the, either way, flip-flop. So they may be a water sign with, with air in it. So the... And then we also have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So we have two beginnings here. Where we have the beginning of honesty and really being um, grounded or in the physical. So, you know, I could, I could say this many different ways. I do feel like they want to come in with some type of communication. But it's like they already know how it's going to turn out. And that's because they know how they are as well. So they're kind of like in this remorseful, shameful Still in this victim-minded energy. And then we have the devil, of course. Wanted to show up. Capricorn energy with the goat head. I feel very much that they're addicted um, to this cycle. They're very much addicted to this misery. All right? This divine masculine could very much, pretty much be um, obsessed with this union as well. And pretending to 
be unavailable or detached or unbothered, but they're very much wanting a second chance because they're learning the lessons about their own behaviors, hey, but they don't see you, the divine feminine, as given this second chance because of the damage that they created, all right? They know they made a mess of things with this five of cups, but I'm seeing that with the ace of pentacles, ace of swords, having, um, wanting to put in action, wanting to really begin something coming out of a comfort zone, but I don't know, the energy is kind of like aggressive, I think that they're very much uh, sexually frustrated as well. The King of Wands. So this uh, Divine Masculine could very much be uh, Aries, um, Leo, a Sagittarius with some Capricorn energy. So this person may be a workaholic. So this could be one of their uh, codependency or addictions. Is that they're very codependent on materialism. Um, again, I feel some ego energy here. So their ego may be, they may be, um, they're very much vibrating from their ego system, their ego level is what I'm saying. And I feel like um, they have a way of replaying all the bad that they did. They could be very tempted easily and they're kind of ashamed of that. Um, they kind of feel very disappointed themselves that they let such a beautiful loving connection go. Yeah, so they're working on, on blocking. They're working on opening up their cells. So the Three of Cups wanted to land on my chair. <laughs> so I feel like they're very much wanting to celebrate this love. You know, but... It's like you, in the inside, this divine connection brings them to life. But on the outside, because of their programming... They won't let you see it. But I'm feeling like they may be having some type of sexual um, awakening here as well. So they may be ascending in some way in this. Um, so they may be being enlightened here with the Wheel of Fortune. So lessons learned. Karmic has been served. Karmic justice has been. No, just karma. Karma. They serve their karma is what I'm getting. And now it's like they're learning the lesson. They're growing. They're getting. They're seeing that how blessed and mature this uh, connection was. How much unconditional love they want to embrace. That they're tired of the fear. They're tired of being chained. They're tired of their fears controlling them. All right. They're bored with that. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Two of Pentacles. So um, yeah, they're still kind of stuck in. Um, juggling back and forth. So they may be juggling whether to continue on this path of a narcissistic or actually growing up and coming forward, actually facing their fears and coming forward to this love. Let's get some more. So we have the Queen of Swords. So there may be a lack in communication or there may have been definitely a miscommunication. I feel like this king of wands wants to come in, but it's almost like they're expecting an argument because you're so good with um, words, with... I feel like you always have like smart comebacks and it infuriates them. Gosh. What is this five of cups about? I feel like they want to come in and talk about possibly doing things more in the physical with you. But they feel like it's going to turn into an argument. A lot of sexual energy as well. They could be addicted to your sex. So we have the Page of Swords. Definitely some spying, some ta um, keeping tabs on each other. This could be you and them. Ten of Wands. All right. So it's it's burdening them. It's burdening, it's burdening this Divine Masculine for the mess that they created. All right. I feel like they're drowning in their emotions and the things that they did to hurt you. And that's weighing on them. 
still they still have a lot of things that they're juggling in their life as well and that's kind of weighing on them too so it's almost like this is why they don't see the light because of all they're they're just constantly they're obsessively thinking about all the things that they did when they were lost in the darkness when they did not recognize you and whatever this was in the beginning so i feel like they're shifting out of that but they still don't see the light because of it's like everything is really banking on you the ball is in their court but it's really banking on you if you're going to accept them right so now we have the ten of pentacles here as well so we have endings and we also have beginnings as well so they do have some type of family ties going on here i feel like this is something that they want to communicate with you or that is a truth that needs to be spoken. So they may want to come in and talk to you, but they know you're going to ask them some very um, nerve-wracking answers, all right? And I feel like they know that you know the truth. So it's going to be hard for them not to tell you the honest, the, uh, the honest facts here, all right? But they may be involved with a family. This may be family doesn't want you guys together, or they literally have a family and they're acting like they're single with the king of wands energy. So we have a lot of twos. Again, two of pentacles. This person does not know what to do. They're constantly going back and forth, whether to come in and um, reconnect or ask you for the second chance or to just continue with what they have going on that's already established. I feel like... They're really guarded, but they really want to try one more time with the nine of wands. But um, this may be feeling like a temptation for someone. The devil again, double confirmation of devil energy. Wow. Definitely feel like they're addicted to either um, you guys' intimacy or they feel like this is forbidden they feel like this is just they're bonded to you passionately sexually i feel like this is crazy i feel like they think this is a dangerous love affair for some two of pentacles double confirmation so it's like they're constantly going back and forth I don't know. I feel like this union shines a light on all their codependency, addictions, and their darkness. And it, it's like you trigger them a lot, Divine Feminine, whether you're male or female. And we have the Magician with the Devil, you guys. So this is some strong, yes, narcissistic traits. You guys, my deck be on point if you guys notice the white cards my deck be on point this person definitely is vibrating in their lower energy and again narcissistic energy behaviors or people are not to be messed with you cannot change these people these types of people will end up being your biggest lesson all right, and your biggest mistake because they would drain you out of your supply. All right, and I feel like this is why you block them with communication because you saw th straight through the facade. They may have presented themselves as this very wealthy person, and it's like all about I don't know, I just feel like they this divine masculine um, sold you a dream that they had with someone else. They may be tied to some very toxic people as well. And this is why they're unable to change or become better. So they are learning the lesson. They're probably growing in the inside or this union is growing, but because their environment, the people that they're entangled with, their up upbringing, their programming, it's hard for them to detach from this toxic energy, you guys. This could be a Capricorn with Aries, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, 
a lot of fire signs. We have all the signs out here. Give me one more card, beloved. All right, so it's saying to be patient. If you uh, feel guided to wait on this person, it's seen that their ancestors, their angels are working on them at this time, you know, to help them grow, to help them learn the lesson in. I definitely feel like they're being guided even though they're vibrating in its toxic energy. Bottom of the deck, here we go. That's the Divine Masculine, the Emperor. This could be some Aries energy. Again. So the um, Magician is Aries, Virgo, Gemini with Aries. Again, so this may be some, you know, and this is the full moon in Aries. So this may be presently taking place. The 1010 portal that we just had with releasing and forgiving. So let's see if we could get some information on what would be their future um, actions or energy. Beloved, what would... I hardly have any space. Let's move some cards around. Yes, yeah, so they definitely know that this is a very blessed union, right? Because we have love here. So they definitely know this is a blessed union. They feel all the magic. They feel all the unconditional love. But they're very disappointed in themselves for the way that they behaved, for um, the way that they showed up to you. And, you know, they know that you could see right through them. They know that you are very uh, intellectual. They know that you know how to control your emotions and let logic step in. Or you very much may be on... Um, that stage or that part of your journey so they may be um gonna ex they're probably expecting some type of argument between the two of you if they have to come in with the truth i feel like they really do want to meet up i feel like they do really want to step out of their comfort zone um they're very bored of where they're at they're not interested in the things that's in front of them we had the five of cups and the five of cups with bored, ashamed, and disappointed. So that's what's in their cups right now. Where is it? So that is what's in their cup right now. Bored, boredom, ashamed, and disappointment. But they know that, you know, even if they feel like this is never going to happen, to just be in this connection with you, to feel you, to know you, the cup's behind of them. So that's why they're excited because it's they have hope. And it's a chance, but they know that the damage they cause has you on guard and it's weighing heavy on them. And they just have so much things going on. They could have family issues as well with the Ten of Pentacles. Sorry, you guys, my card is all jumbled up. But we do have indication here that higher forces are with them to help them gain some type of personal power as well, all right? Or heal or purge out these um, traits. So they're working on that. They're very ashamed and disappointed to know. You know, maybe they even learn about what they are. So, you know, they probably never even had a slightest clue that their behavior was really toxic until, you know, maybe you have shown them well, again, this union reflected the light. It, it shone a light on their demons, all right? So this, even though it's very blessed and beautiful and you gave unconditional love, that unconditional love reflect to them how damaged and how empty they really were. So let's see what the future energies would be. Beloved, what is the future energy of this divine masculine that we're channeling? queen of wands so they might go into a queen of wands energy where they might take um the initiative to come forward i feel like they're definitely thinking about the future about making again bold and courageous moves all right so <clears throat> they're just waiting for the right time to shoot at the target which is the divine feminine all right so we have the Ace of Cups. So we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and now we have the Ace of Cups. So they're definitely um, shifting their energy from possibly this King of Wands to the Queen of Wands energy. So they may be shifting into their Divine Feminine um, energy, all right? Because I do feel like this is the Divine Masculine and his Divine Feminine femininity um in union or in hold or you could take it as he does definitely sees you as matching his drive his passion and he wants to offer this cup of love he wants to really um go forward in the physical you know let's see what else what else tell us more beloved 
Yeah, I feel like this divine masculine is getting tired. You got away and is disappointed. He know he let you down and he feels like he let himself down as well. So we have the fool. The full energy, wanting to take that risk, wanting to be bold, wanting to be courageous, wanting to risk it all is what I feel. I feel like he thinks um, time is on his side for some reason. I, I, felt, I felt that. And now we have the Ace of Wands. We did have the Magician here. So he definitely wants to manifest this, bring this into the physical tide of the daydreaming as well. Despite of the doubts, I feel like this divine masculine. And then we have, again, the king of wands. So you may be definitely dealing with a fire sign. You may be a fire sign. Or just, just the elements that you guys are embodying. So we have double confirmation. It's a king of wands with some devil energy. Could be a Capricorn. Double confirmation and the devil energy. So this person might have severe case of narcissistic traits. All right. But they're willing to change that. They're willing to balance themselves out. I feel like this person could be very much stubborn. All right. And it's almost like they're breaking themselves down. Queen of Cups energy. So there may be a second uh, person here as well. A second energy. There may be a lot of different women as well because we have the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and I just saw the Queen of Cups. So again, there may be a lot of people, a lot of outside influences on this um, union. This Divine Masculine could have been spoken to a lot of females, um, or this Divine Masculine may have a lot of females in their lives, in their family, that may be very much against this, or that's in... That's causing a wedge and this is weighing heavy on them, all right? I feel like this divine masculine may want to sneak around with you and keep this very private as well. You know, I feel like this, some of you who, who it resonates, I feel like this divine masculine has stood up for you when you were absent. Like they had your back when um, people had a lot to say, you know, they really stood up for you as well i do see that they find you a very a equal match whether it's in the physical or in spirit or in the passion i do feel like this divine masculine is very sexually attracted to you with all this devil energy they really want to be bad with you or you make them want to be bad in a good way for you okay you guys i the divine masculine showed up so this could be a divine masculine with fire a lot of fire in their chart that may have had you in a third party or were just very flirtatious. And I'm seeing that they're now recognizing that all of these behaviors that caused the relationship to flop um, was really narcissistic energy. And they could also be, you know, really um, going back in their family to see where this begun. I'm feeling like for some of them, they have done the research and traced where this narcissistic energy or traits came from. And it may be from the women in their family. Could be um, air signs, fire signs, or water signs that had a very profound effect or influenced this divine masculine to be this narcissistic person. All right. So I hope that gives someone some insights, some ideas. And inspiration if you did enjoy this content please like subscribe and share if you're interested in a personal if you're inquiring in a personal reading check out the description box below and chat to you later ciao